the Chilida Yanvenu welcome. I would like to welcome you to the two Signetuk district, one of the seven Mi'kmaq district. Signetuk means where the water drains. When Kiora called and asked me if I can say a few words, I was very honored because I am going to, I am going to be speaking on unity. Unity is the key to our survival, and today we have walked side by side. We have walked in unity. Through unity, our ancestors have built Canada, and from this, our relationship lasted, and we are here today. Today, we face a common goal. We have a government that is not working for the best interest of Canada's unity and environment. <laughs> Together, we are saying to Prime Minister Harper that what his government is doing is wrong, but more importantly, how they are doing it is not how it is done in Canada. Yes, my people faced many hardships. We have survived centralization, deportation, residential school, genocide, and we will survive the Indian Act. Because of what we have survived, we have become wiser and stronger. Our children are stronger and they will continue to protect our land, our waters, and more importantly, our rights as First Nation people, as human beings. Many ask, why is our voice so strong? Why are there so many people supporting this movement? Because Idle No More is a movement on social justice, a movement on unity. Idle No More is about protection of Mother Earth. It's about peace and friendship. Idle No More is Canada. <laughs> It, has, it was passed down by our parents. I did not think I would see it in my lifetime. Our seventh generation is rising up, and Chief Spence has awoken the friendly giant in Ottawa. My elder once told me, when the friendly giant is awoken in Ottawa by a woman, then it will change for the better. Unfortunately, today we do not have trust. We do not have trust with our governments. Historically, we have been given many broken promises that today we don't know what to believe or who to believe. Do I trust the system the way it is now? No! It, it is not working for our people. The people in Canada have been misled and told that we cannot take care of ourselves, that we are lazy and we cannot manage our finances. You have been told all our Indian Act chiefs are corrupt and do not care about our people. This is a lie. so much awareness to our people, especially our youths, that it is overwhelming. It is a dream come true for me, for us, all of us. The education of our history, our tradition, and our culture is unbelievable. The awareness of peace and friendship is priceless. Idle No More supports justice for my people and justice for Chief Spence, an Indian Act Chief. I went to see Chief Spence. I had to see her and I had to tell her, I support you. I believe you. I know what you're saying is true. 
Chief Spence is on a hunger strike to tell Canada the truth. The truth about how our children go without food in many of our communities. The truth about how our children do not have adequate, healthy homes. Chief Spence is not just telling Canada the problem, but she is also telling us the solution. A nation-to-nation -nation relationship where our treaties are honored and respected. All we are saying is what we want. We want to take responsibility of our lives. We have tried to live with your government structure. It does not work for us. So we are telling the government of Canada, respect and honor our mandate to implement our treaties so together we can rebuild the trust and together we can protect Mother Earth for she will always keep us united. Again, please say a special prayer for Chief Spence, Ra Ra uh, Raymond Robertson, and one of our community members, Ilsebuktu community member, Jean Sock, who are, who are all on a hunger strike. Hey. And let's ask God, our Creator, for a, for a resolution to be reached on January January 11th. Thank you very much, and I don't know more. I don't know more! Yeah. I don't know more!